Hi guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution Tarot, and I'm here today to bring you a postcard from Spirit for February 2023. Keep in mind it's general, so take what you feel resonates for you, disregard the rest, go about your day, and know that no matter what messages come through, it's still up to you, your active free will, the choices you make, and the steps you take in your world to get whatever fulfillment it is you'd like to see. To me, this is personal freedom, it's personal power, and my friends, it's something that lies at the tips of your fingers and the soles of your feet, so use that power wisely. Before I get started as well, I'm just going to take a moment to call on Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, my team of light, as well as any of your spirit guides that would be here for the highest good of the entire collective, I ask them to join us, to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself, this reading, as well as any of you who would ask for it, to use me as the clearest channel possible, delivering messages that are for the most far-reaching, but only for the highest good of all of us watching. So I first off, while we call it the Postcards from Spirit, is that I brought the Postcard from Spirit Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. And we're going to see some spiritual advice that Spirit would like us to know for this month. Um, and just an over our, overarching or overall energy for this month, please, Spirit. So what can you give us? Thank you. And right away we got a card. And this is beautiful. You are magic, you are majestic, and you are rare, my friends, with this beautiful unicorn. And I think that for what I heard, some of us, some people may think that our kind's gone extinct. That is not true. Um, either we've been in hiding or we're just keeping our energy away from those that are going to deplete it. Or we don't feel um, drawn to them, right? So it says, Dear you, there is only one you, and you have a unique place in this universe. Sometimes situations come up that challenge you to be authentic, and that means you have to be fully yourself and let go of being what you think others want. Now is not the time to conform to other people's standards or expectations. Be proud of who you are and be courageous. Stand tall in your own convictions. Being yourself is a powerful statement and will only lead you to success and ultimately happiness. Don't compare yourself to other people. Want what you have. Choose what your heart wants and know your purpose is yours alone. No one else can claim your magic, nor take it away. When you place authenticity and originality high on your list of priorities and place a prominent place in your awareness, extraordinary things happen. Your life is a beautiful one. And I think that that is absolutely one of the most beautiful cards that we could absolutely get for this month. You know, I think that what I heard for some of us is there could be a lot of peer pressure or pressure from other people around us, family, loved ones, to conform to a certain way, to be a certain identity. I give you an example of my own. There's some of my family, not all of them. A lot of them are very supportive. But there are factions of my family who wishes that I wouldn't do this, that this kind of thing is not who they want me to be. It's not how they want to be seen because if they're associated with me, right, this weirdness, then it's going to reflect on them. And this is really important where, you know what, there's a place where we have to all stand in our authenticity, in our authentic glory, and stand in your autonomy and your ability to make decisions for yourself and that are right for you. So if you do have a lot of push or pull or people trying to chime in and tell you how to live your life, you do not have to listen to that. And as well as what I heard is unsolicited advice. There's nothing that states you have to take that advice. You can be nice and listen, nod your head away, you know, and be polite about it. But at the end of the day, you can say, thank you. I appreciate your opinion, but I'm still going to do what's right for me. So if they say they love you always and forever, don't forget that, my friends. So before I get into the tarot, I also have with me the animal wisdom. No, they're not animal wisdom. Sorry, I have a couple animal decks. <laughs> the Archangel Animal Oracle Cards by Diane Cooper. So let's get some animal help throughout this month, Spirit. What would be some helping guides? Thank you. So you have the bee, which I saw in the pre-shuffle, which I think is beautiful. And it says, spread your heart healing with joy. Archangel Premonalic. As well as I think this also comes down into hive mentality as well, that we all have a certain job to do. This does not mean you need to be uniform, that you need to, um, I keep hearing the words collide, but it doesn't mean that you need to conform to a certain standard or role either. I think that as well they're talking about like the dancing, this could be that, you know, because bees do little movements to tell 
the other bees, where the honey is, where the flowers are. And I think it's really just important here that you know that you're spreading joy. And we're not going to feel very joyful if we're living our lives for other people. So this is making sure you make time for heart healing. You make time for the things that bring you joy, as well as this is to me connecting with the people that are of like mind to you that are going to sweeten your life and we also have here this flower of life everything is connected you also have the deer which is trust in the support of the universe and i think this is really beautiful because this is archangel michael and faith this is twin flames this is two become one but this is your both counterparts and I think this speaks to ourselves speaks to our heart balancing out our masculine and our feminine balancing out you know our goals and our drive and being in balance with it giving and receiving of energy so this is also like um I heard also like sting like a bee some of us yeah there's dichotomies too some of us we may be sweet as honey but if you cross us, we may sting like a bee. And for some of you, this may be, you know, really needing to work on reactions. Others of you, this is setting pretty big boundaries because perhaps in the past, other people haven't listened to them and they need to know that you are, again, your own powerhouse. You are a powerhouse. And whatever someone may be trying to conform you or trying to whatever mold you may be having someone try to fit you in, this is where ultimately, again, trust in the support of the universe. They're going to guide you to what is best for you. And many of you, you are being divinely guided towards a certain path. I'm thinking, I keep feeling like high school guidance counselor, okay? Like um, that kind of energy where, you know, they may be pushing you towards a certain career path, towards a certain school, because I think you would be really good at this. Or even just kind of getting you to go to school and you're like, yo, no. That's not the path I want to take. That's not what I want to do. I want to take some time off. And, you know, their job is to try and move you forward and help you build a future. But there is where it's like, you know, you need to do this your own way. Now, I am hearing as well something along the lines of a lot of times the reason there's a push is because sometimes when we take a year off from our studies or something like that, we don't jump back on that horse. We stop. And I think there's a lot of fear around that. But this is also to remember you're not them. Whatever you put your mind to, whatever you are determined to do, you're going to accomplish those goals. So we also have snake here, which is beautiful energy as well. Again, with actually there's three snakes. And it says live according to your divine essence. I'm going to grab a message from the book for snake as well. Snakes come from many universes, bringing their light and wisdom with them. Try to step down through the earth. They step down through the earth through Neptune, where they collect the keys and codes from Atlantis and Lemuria. When they become physical, they crawl on the ground and spread this information, so anyone can access it. Then they are closely connected to Hollow Earth. They energetically bring up ancient knowledge and the records of the history of the planet. Snakes are messengers who bring warnings and remind you to look beyond the outer appearance of something or someone around you. Often they bear the good news that change or transformation is on its way. They may herald an expansion of consciousness which will inevitably revolutionize your life. All reptiles still carry the original divine blueprint or essence they received when they were created. This offers them power and purity and this is why snake magic offers a powerful energetic protection if you call on it sincerely. The guidance says you are being asked to be very aware of the snake card is bringing you a message that something is about to happen. Are you ready to burst out of your skin and expand your life? It's time to plan a holiday or remove a house and an opportunity going to be is an opportunity going to be presented to you. On the other hand, this card can be a, offering a warning. Can you trust the people around you? Look beyond the surface and listen to your gut instinct. Remember to call on snake magic if you feel you need protection and know that this will keep you safe. Your guidance is to be ready for any eventuality. Tune into the wisdom of the universe that is available to you. So I heard twofold with this, right? A snake sheds its skin to grow. They are very, very spiritual creatures. And then we also have the term snake in the grass. Again, 
things could change rapidly for you and it's going to be very imperative that you do your life you work through these changes with joy and trust in the universe that you will be supported i also want to say with unconditional love because often these deer that's what they are that's what they represent is unconditional love this comes with unconditional love for yourself but also to be aware of the agendas of those around you if someone is trying to peer pressure you into going a certain way and you do not feel that is right Listen to your intuition. If you feel like someone is a snake in the grass, that someone is lingering, um, because, I mean, some of these snakes are poisonous, right? If there's a rattlesnake or something like that lurking in the grass and you don't know and, you know, all of a sudden they strike, this isn't necessarily a positive thing for you, right? And it can be pretty life-threatening. So you could have people who are putting you in... For some potentially dangerous situations if um and this is no they're bringing up a few different things one is trafficking okay and i didn't i don't want to get really heavy with this but if you have not met someone in person or even if you don't know them very well and they were asking you could even be spring break or reading week or something like this wanting you to go somewhere and something feels off don't do it um If you're being offered like um, a hotel stay or something to bring a friend and it just seems all too good to be true and it's come out of nowhere again, really use your intuition, really listen to what you your, your body and your mind is saying. Now there's a few things here though, because this isn't saying avoid adventure at all costs, this is just being smart about it and not being too naive about it because not everyone is out for our highest good. Not everyone wants the best for us. Some of us want us to get stung. Or some of us want us to get this rattlesnake bite. Because it could progress them. So this definitely is know that things are coming. Put your best foot forward. Stand in your truth. Stand in your authenticity. Because like this postcard said, there's only one you, my friends. And that is a superpower. So I have the Shocker Wisdom Tarot here. And let's see what messages for tarot guidance we have. Going into February, Spirit, what is your tarot wisdom? I heard again have faith. It's important that Michael and Faith came out together as well. Because February is a two-month about partnership. And this could even come with partnership. What flew out to show me was the Four of Coins or the Four of Pentacles. And these cards came out. They're not showing me. I am going to keep them. And I'm going to take the bottom of the deck as well. And we'll see what messages come through once we get the cards out of here. So the bottom of the deck was the Seven of Cups, which funny enough came out in the pre-shuffle too. This could to me speak of loss a little bit. Um, but this could be just because we are realizing not everyone's for us. We're realizing that people, certain people and groups of people as we progress on the spiritual journey they can't come with us not everybody's meant to be in our life for the whole time there's reasons and seasons right so i think it's really important here for some of you what i'm hearing is count your blessings hold on to your coins um to be careful with the how you're spending things because what i heard is we're building for a future it's not necessarily about being greedy or hoarding or um, you know, just being really, really, really frugal. It's making sure that we're really assessing our wants and needs in certain things. So for example, I'll use myself again. I had a doctor's appointment today and as I was walking <laughs> to come home, I could smell the fryers at some restaurant. And all of a sudden I was like, oh my God, I want a burger and I want fries. I want it now. But there's food at home and it's not lunchtime. And I mean, it's, there's that part that was like, but there's food at home. Even though I want this, there's food at home. So I could spend 15 bucks on a burger and fries, that would be absolutely fine. But there's food at home that I can make. And it's just one of these things that I think that we just need to get in the habit of if you've already bought it with the intention of using it, eat it, do it. So let's see what messages we have here. We have the tower that was on the bottom, the two of wands in the reverse, the emperor, the ten of coins, 
three of coins in the reverse and the six of coins. Whatever changes are coming, I feel like ultimately do bring balance because having this tower at the beginning and then having the six of coins at the end, speaking of balance and abundance, but definitely things are changing. And I think that with this emperor here and the blue with the throat chakra, it's going to be really important for us to speak our truth and to do it wisely, to speak with authority as well. There may be with this tower, this two of wands, we're not quite sure of which direction to go next. So, for example, lightning has struck this, right? But in this case as well, if you look at this, the tower struck and she's here, the devil's being removed. The fears are being removed. It's kind of like we may all fear something until it happens and then once it happens, it's already done. It's something that... You know, now we can see things a little bit more clearly for what they were. With the Ten of Coins, too, you are being asked to know your worth and to follow your truth again, to follow your authority and your spiritual authority, because all of these riches, they belong to you. Whether it's chiching, 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 or it's within your heart and eternally knowing that we have self confidence in ourselves, we know that we're going to flourish. Now, the three of coins in the reverse, I do feel like, again, this is speaking of not necessarily being in harmony and partnership. That could be where this is coming down to the people who see a tower or people around us in our social group, family, friends, you know, sometimes even perfect strangers have shit to say about what we're doing, right? But somebody definitely doesn't like to play nice, is what I heard. Someone is not helpful for you making your decisions and for some of you this means that you have to make decisions on your own and to keep someone in the dark it doesn't mean that we want to be mean or secretive but it means that we don't want them sabotaging it along the way like they're giving me an example of weight loss or like just eating healthy and if not everyone's going to be on those goals right not everyone's going to care many people might have said screw it i'm getting that burger and fries which is totally fine, but there's also that point where, again, I knew I had food at home, and I also knew I had food at home that was probably going to be a little bit better for me and better for my digestive tract at the time. There will be people in your world that go, oh, come on, you'll only live once, but it's worth it. Well, is it worth it if you're going to end up with tummy ache and diarrhea okay like something like this if you're gonna be sick from something that you're gonna eat is it worth it is it worth it if you know someone's trying to get you here's another thing like someone wants to go get you to go out with them at night time and you're like you know what I find that if I go to bed at a certain time this really helps me out and they're like oh no you only live once come on come on and then the next day Maybe you have a big project due or you have something you have to do that's really important and then you're just dog tired and you are not enjoying your day. And the thing is I heard is you may not actually enjoy that night out that much either because you are peer pressured to do it. So I think that this is just going to be where whatever is coming, whatever changes are coming, they're bringing you into a lot more of your own and your truth. With the Seven of Cups here, I'm going to get a clarifier. Because again, I do feel like the Seven of Cups here, we know that there's choices. We know that there's changes. And with the mountains in the back, and there's like a, almost like a castle. The purple space of royalty to me as well. But this, this choice comes with these changes. Spirit, can you tell me about the Seven of Cups, please? Can you clarify the Seven of Cups, please? With the Four of Coins, again, some of you, you're just not going to talk. You're not telling people about this. You're moving in silence so that nobody can screw it up, and that's probably the best thing. For some of you, it is keep your goals to yourself. Um, so we have here the, the moon. Keep those to yourself. Be in balance. With this black and white wolf as well, this to me speaks of honoring both sides. They're both anointed. They're both connected to spirit. And again, this comes down to with this deer. There are two deer. There are two wolves. This being 
being that that is Archangel Michael and Faith, being that this is a divine partnership here and that snake you're asked to live your divine essence some of you really may be called with the moon also speaks of intuition as well you may be called on to a much more spiritual part of your journey right now or putting yourself in a much more public space or in the public eye and the changes that are coming throughout this again like i said they're going to bring you riches i think that this is where again as you're making your choices it may be best for you not to discuss your options with other people because not everyone's going to understand as well as what i heard is not everyone's going to understand your passion not everyone's going to understand your spiritual gifts because it does feel very spiritual and again with this claiming your magic When you place authenticity and originality high in your list of priorities and give them a prominent place in your awareness, extraordinary things happen. Your life is a beautiful one. I think this is, again, this is a little bit of keeping it to yourself, keeping your money on your, your mind on your money a little bit though, just because as these changes are happening, you're gonna want a little bit of a nest egg or a cush, just something. Like even what I heard is for some of you, it could be something like if you're leaving a specific job or if you lose a job, it's not that something won't come back better for you, but in the meantime, until then, you may wanna just make sure that you're spending carefully because you know resources are a little bit tight and I do think if you're feeling resources are tight right now there's gonna come a point where they're not and this is stuff where with all this yellow around it too this is solar plexus energy my friends stay confident in who you are you are beautiful you are magnificent and you are magic and you are extraordinary just as you are so that's the message I have. I hope it resonates. I love you all, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.